This is 8EEB5. We're going to compare two different proportional relationships represented in different ways. And actually, these are linear equations, so these are going to have starting points that are not zero. This is problem two. Okay. Our problem says Kaylee is going to the county fair. Okay, so this is county fair. I'm going to put Kaylee's name on here so we can keep these straight. Riley is going to the state fair. It says state fair, so I'm going to put Riley here so we can keep these straight. Be sure to label them. That makes a big difference. Shown on the cost of going on the rides at each fair. Decide whether each statement is true or false. Our statements down here deal with it costs three more three dollars more to get into the county fair than it does the state fair. So first, I want to know how much it costs just to get in before you ride any rides. Now let's think about this. This involves writing a linear equation. Y is equal mx plus b. Whenever we're writing a linear equation, b is our starting point. That's where we begin on the y-axis. That's our starting point. Okay. Our m is our rate of change. In this case, how much it costs per ride. Rate of change. How much it's going to cost per ride. Let's look at the county fair. Let's start with our y is equal to mx plus b. Our b is going to be where we start on the y on the y-axis, where it crosses here, where it crosses the y-axis, our y-intercept. It's six. That means it's going to cost me six dollars to get in the county fair before I even ride anything. Now let's figure out what our slope actually is, because that's probably going to answer all of our other questions, our rate of change. If we're looking for our rate of change, we know that whenever we're talking about slope, our M, we're talking about the change in Y over the change in X, which is the rise over the run. Okay, so let's draw us a right triangle between two points that are on grid lines. Here's our, where we're starting. We're going up to, from 6 to 8, so we're going up to on cost and over 1 for each ride. So if our M is 2 over 1, that's our unit rate. Our Y's total cost, our Y's on the top, that's $2 per what? Per one ride. Okay? R-I-D-E. Okay? So if that's $2 per one ride, our M is 2. There's our equation for this one. To get in the county fair, cost $6, and then it's going to cost us $2 for each ride. Look at this, guys. If you, pay, if you went on one ride, then it should cost you $8, right? $6 to get in, $2 for a ride, $8. If you pay to get in and you go on two rides, that would be $6 to get in plus $4 for your two rides, $10. Now let's try the state fair. Let's decide what our, it costs for us to get in and then how much it costs per ride. Y is equal to MX plus B. B is what it costs when we've gone on zero rides. That would be $3. It costs $3 to get in for the state fair. Okay, now we need to find our M. We talked about M being change in Y over change in X. Here's our X. Here's our Y. Let's find our M here, our rate of change. Change in Y over change in X. Our change in Y here would be 6 minus 3. Our change in X here would be 1 minus 0. 6 minus 3 is 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. That means our Y axis, which is on the top, it would cost us $3 for each one ride. The rides of the state fair cost $3 a piece. Y is equal to 3X plus 3. Now let's answer the questions. It costs $3 more to get into the county fair. Here's Kaylee on the county fair. It costs $6 to get in than it does at the state fair. State fair costs three. It does cost $3 more to get in at the county fair than the state fair, right? Look at it. 6 minus 3 equals 3. It costs $3 more to get into the county fair than the state fair. So that's true. If Kaylee and Riley each go on five rides at their fair, 
Kaylee will spend five dollars more than Riley. Well, let's see what it costs to go on five rides. Okay, let's start here. If our equation for Kaylee is y is equal to 2x plus 6, and we go on five rides, we plug our 5 in for, here's $2 per ride times five rides plus $6 just to get in. Y is equal to 10 plus 6 or 16. It's going to cost Kaylee $16 to, to go on five rides. Let's see what it will cost Riley. Our equation for Riley's fare is y is equal to 3x plus 3. She pays $3 just to get in and $3 per ride. Y is equal to 3 times x. Well, we're talking about how many rides? Five rides. We put our 5 in there plus the $3 to get in. $3 for each ride times five rides is $15 plus the $3 to get in gives me $18. If Kaylee and Riley each go on five rides, Kaylee will spend $5 less than Riley? No, the difference here is 18 minus 6 is 2. So no, this is not true. That's false. When Kaylee and Riley have gone on three rides, they will have spent the same amount of money. Well, let's try the three rides. Kaylee, let's use her equation. Y is equal to 2X plus 6, $6 to get in plus $2 per ride. We're talking about three rides. 2 times 3 plus 6. We'll put a line here so we know the difference of these. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 6 is 12. It would cost Kaylee $12 to go on three rides. Let's see about Riley. Let's see what it would cost Riley. Okay, Riley's equation is y is equal to 3x plus 3. It costs $3 to get in plus $3 per ride. If she rides three rides, I'd multiply this $3 per ride times the three rides, and then I'd add in the $3 to get in. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3 is 12. It costs you $12. Kaylee and Riley would both pay $12. When they are both when they've both ridden three rides so when kaylee and riley have gone on three rides they will have spent the same amount of money that's true it costs six dollars per ride at the state fair well kaylee's at the state fair what does it say it costs per ride two dollars per ride so this is false